We are broadcasting from Tabecha, where the DA has announced its male candidates in the five cities for the upcoming elections. They are saying that they are ready for the elections, whether they happen this year in October or next year, but they are ready to take to the streets and make sure they gather enough votes. What was interesting for the Metro is to see our male candidate um, for the Metro, who is Ngaba Banga, who has said in his speech that he wants to make sure that he brings back the Metro to its former glory and also ensure there is no corruption and that there's good governance in the metro but he's going to be faced by a tough task because the metro has faced various service delivery issues in the metro over the past few weeks and also some political instability in the metro but he hopes to bring a change to this like they did when they took governance and they won in 2016 winning the outright majority there at 46.7 percent jamie is often missing i'm going to talk more about his plans as a mayoral candidate for the da in the north middle metro Zangaba, you talked in your speech about three things that you want to make sure that you implement good governance, cleaning out corruption and making sure that you really tamper in on service delivery as a mayoral candidate in the metro. Uh, what we want to do, the first thing we are going to do as a city is to make sure that we deliver services first to the people. Because the ratepayers and the, the residents, they want to see change in their lives. And I'm so proud that um, we have turned the city to a construction site. We can go wherever, we're building roads, electricity, and also um, maintaining our infrastructure. We are attracting investors who come uh, to our city, have established good relations with business. That's what people want. Uh, that's what people vote for. And two, we have to make sure that we bring back good governance. We must not eradicate corruption, we must stop corruption. And therefore it is uh, what we're doing. Uh, that's why the number of uh, investigations that have taken uh, place in the, the SIU and the Hawks are, are acting on these things. Because this is public money, this is public press, and people should start to understand that uh, this, this is the government of the people. And uh, there must be consequences for people who have mismanaged uh, uh, resources, whether it's politicians uh, or, or officials. That's why in November there was a decision to take money from the councillors who voted for wrong decisions. Therefore, there is consequence management and that will, will happen uh, because we need to build a South Africa that is accountable and respect the citizens. Some of the challenges or the primarily ch challenge of the Nelson Mandela Metro has there been the issue of political instability. In the past four years, we've had four mayors, and that has obviously affected service delivery. Going forward now, Mr. Stain Hayden said that he is willing to come into partnership with any other party that has similar values to you. Do you see yourself going into a coalition with this government, or are you obviously hoping for an outright majority? We want to win this government uh, by, by a majority. That's why we are we going to go to each and every voter to come out uh, in numbers. And vote for us is good. Uh, people must start to choose government that works for them. And uh, we have worked so hard. And if people do not come out, um, they will get a government that they don't want. And I trust the voters in Nelson Mandela. They have seen the clear blue line between what the ANC can do and what the DA can do. The DA's ability is that when we're in government, we deliver services. The last Mr. Ngwabang, another issue facing the metro over the past weeks has been the issue of water, where certain areas have been without water for two to three days, and people can perhaps attest this to your governance. Um, in terms of service delivery, what do you want to improve on and assure residents that if they vote for the DA, uh, a year or two from now, we won't have running t empty taps in our houses? I, I must say we have managed the water problem uh, more better than the previous government. One, we're communicating very clear. We've put up a water augmentation program um, to make sure that we connect areas such as Kwanubuche uh, and the areas in the western uh, areas. And um, I have uh, been able to convince uh, COCTA and the uh, uh, Treasury to declare this uh, a water disaster area, which will help us to speed up the processes to make sure that many areas do not reach uh, a day zero.